Hey everyone, how you guys are doing? I hope you're having an amazing, amazing Friday because today is Friday, um, but I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so I am, or I actually already had this recording, so yay for that. So, because uh, I always tend for, to forget. <laughs> so um, I am going to share my screen really fast. I, this, I promise, this is going to be a short presentation but i hope you will enjoy this presentation and i am going to get started all right so this presentation is how a skincare routine can transform your skin the importance of consistency and care but before I go any further, I do want to introduce myself. My name is Lakeisha Simmons. Uh, fa family and friends do call me Kiki. So you can call me Kiki if you like. Um, and I am a beauty consultant. All right. And so I enjoy what I do. I've been doing it for two years. I do teach on uh, the importance of having skincare health. That is a thing believe it or not, all right? And so I, I love teaching. I do ha I do, uh, do uh, skincare classes. So I do online skincare classes as well as in-person skincare classes. And I also um, conduct facials as well as uh, other uh, services that I offer. And so now I'm just to hurry up and dive right into it. So do you feel your skin reflects your inner confidence? The secret to healthy going skin lies in a consistent skincare routine agenda why a routine matters the science behind it and a a simple routine to follow so those are the uh the highlights of the of what of our what we're going to touch on all right so why skincare matters key points here so it protects against environmental damage pollution uv rays improves skin uh texture and tone, and it prevents premature aging and boosts self-confidence. So this picture on the left here, if you're looking, it is me, all right? And the and the reason why I wanted to um, show this picture is because um, if you can see the picture farthest to the left, that is a current picture of how my skin looks, all right? And the picture towards the right, that is a older picture. It is six years old. All right. So what I just, I was going through pictures on, believe it or not, on Facebook. <laughs> I was going through older pictures of myself and I noticed a big difference in my skin. All right. I, I noticed a big difference. And if you can see, you probably can see it too. Um, obviously your girl been, was dealing with the acne and I still do have acne issues. It is. It hasn't gone nowhere. All right. But it has minimized so much since um since then all right and so i was dealing with a lot of acne issues i would have bumps all over my forehead um these bumps will leave scars um and that's honestly that's what i was dealing with back then all right and and, and i didn't put that much thought into it i didn't i honestly did i didn't put that much thought into uh as far as you know noticing that how things have changed with my skin. So it has gotten completely better since I have started a skincare routine, all right? And I just wanted to point that out. All right, so the science of skin. Key points here. Skin is the body's largest organ. If you didn't know that, you learned that today. <laughs> it, re it rejuvenates every 28 days all right so we get new skin every 28 days so daily so daily care maintains um the skin's barrier and hydration right daily care maintains the skin barrier and hydration so this diagram that you see on the left hand side is layers of the skin all right so we have a epidermis a dermis a hypodermis we have blood vessels we have hair follicles we have sweet glands we have fibroblasts we have lymphatic vessels and we have epipose tissue ep, ep, epipose ep, ed, edipose tissue y'all my pronunciation it <laughs> i ain't gonna lie i have a hard time pronouncing things and i own it right <laughs> but uh, moving forward so the next slide is 
steps in a simple skincare routine. So um, I did provide some steps. So they kind of give you, get you familiar with the, the steps of, uh, of application order um, when you do start a skincare routine. Okay. And it's really simple. It's not that complicated once you get started. So consistency over complexity that's the key right there. Steps are cleansed. So you do need to cleanse to remove the dirt and oils from morning and you need to do it at night. All right. You need to exfoliate one, no more than two times per week to remove dead skin cells. All right. You need to moisturize, hydrate and protect your skin barrier. All right. So you need to also protect using SPF daily to prevent sun damage. You don't want to get sun damage. All right. So it is important to make sure you are using SPF protecting your skin from the sun. All right. That is super duper important. Okay. And then the picture towards the left um, is just a time wise um, and a uh, ultimate miracle set with boosters. Uh, basically it's, it's an order of application if you're using those products, um, which it, it states right here, like if you're looking in the, where it says morning and then you also see one where it says evening, it just says um, the cleanser is first, the C plus preservator line reducer, and then the HA plus ceramide hydrator, then the time wise um, moisturizer, then the time wise daytime defender SPF 30, and then the then last will be the time wise eye cream. All right, that's just in the morning, right? And then the evening is almost pretty much the same stuff, which is the cleanser. Then it's the eye cream instead. And instead of using it last, you'll be using it as second. Then the C plus reserve, um, reservator line reducer, then the HA plus ceramide hydrator, then the time-wise nighttime recovery, and then the time-wise antacid moisturizer. So you won't be using SPF at night. You use on, you only need to use SPF in the morning because in the morning, usually that's when you step outside and, and and, you know, that's when your skin is getting exposed to the sun. But at nighttime, your skin don't get exposed to the sun. So you don't have to worry about using SPF at night. All right. So I just want to make that statement right there. Um, okay. So common skincare mistakes. Okay. So what to avoid? Skipping SPF. You do not want to skip SPF. Over exfoliating. We can't, there is a thing to over exfoliate. That's the reason why I say only no more than once or no more than two times per a week. All right, so you can do it one time or you can do it two times per week, but I wouldn't do it no more than, than those that, that many times a week, okay? Like I said, there is a such a thing as over exfoliating. Some people, you know, love to do it four days, five days, seven days out of a week. That's a no-no. You should not be exfoliating those many times per week, all right? Using the wrong products for your skin type. That's also a thing, meaning that sometimes you may pick up the wrong pot products and that's not geared towards your skin type, okay? And what I mean by that is everyone don't have a certain skin type. You know, either you dry, either you oily, either you're combination, meaning that you deal with dryness and oiliness. Um, also, you can be sensitive, all right? And so um, you have to pick products knowing what skin type you are like you need to know that you need to know what type of skin you have all right uh not removing makeup before bed okay that's also something that you should definitely definitely avoid uh, you want to make sure that you always remove your makeup because um makeup can cause aging age, aging in your skin really fast way before time if uh if you're not um removing your makeup before you go to bed all right and over here towards the left is just some do's and don'ts I won't kind of go over it since I am kind of speeding through this. Uh, this slide here is basically about personalizing your routine. You definitely want to start thinking about personalizing your routine. The key points here is assess your skin type. I just kind of went over this. Oily, dry, combination, or sensitive. Choosing the target products, anti-aging, acne, brightening, and brightening. Adjust for seasons, so lighter in the summer, richer in the winter, all right? Meaning that you need to think more about moisturizing your skin towards the winter time. Um, during the summertime, you need to think lighter. Like you don't have to as moisturize as, as much. You still need to moisturize, but you don't have to, um, you know, pack it on as much, if that makes sense, all right? And so uh, I can help you select the right products for your needs. So definitely keep that in mind that, you know, I am here for you if you are uh, uncertain about the type of products, if you, you know, if you feel like um, there's, you know, you're having a hard time finding products that, that's personal, personalized for you, then definitely reach out to me. All right, moving forward. So here are some Mary Kay products to consider. All right. So here's some key recommendations 
key recommendations cleanser time wise the 401 cleanser that's a recommendation exfoliator which would be the uh, mary Kay microderm Ref micro micro okay i'm talking too fast sorry <laughs> the microderm abrasion refine the moisturizer so that would be the intense moisturizing cream or you can use the oil uh free hydrating gel all right uh, S, uh, for SPF, you can use the Mary Kay sunscreen, broad, broad spectrum SPF 50. Um, over here towards the um, right hand side, this is the micro uh, dermabrasion set. Over here is the uh, time wise miracle set application here. So it just kind of give you the order of application, but this is the 4 1 cleanser, that's the moisturizer, that's the uh, sun, the SPF day defender, and the, um, the night um, recovery. All right, so on this side here is I'm showing you real results because I believe in being very transparent here. The picture towards the left is me, of course. And I'm basically showing you a blemish that popped up on my face and I, when I looked in the mirror in, in, um, one, one morning. All right, and I saw this on my face and I was like, what the heck, what is that? And so, of course, um, that same day, I did go to Wally World with my mom. And we went looking for products for my face, which we did. I did buy the products. I brought two particular products that the employee uh, at Walmart suggested. I went home, used it. Guess what? Those products didn't even help, period. It didn't help. So uh, I after that, then I realized I have products that I, I didn't have to go buy. I, I'm, you know, I have products um, that are Mary Kay products. I could have just used those products. Like, what was I thinking? So I went ahead and decided to use the Clear Proof Toner and... Believe it or not, my that blemish went away within um I'm gonna say a day and a half, but I'm just gonna say two days tops. It was gone. It was completely gone. My face was back to normal, and I was glad. So that's true story. The picture um the picture on the right um basically this lady her name is Susan. She's 58 years old, or she was 58 years old at the time of this photo. Okay, and um she had uh, used the uh guys got glycolic gly gly uh, acid peel eight times. She used it eight times. And you can tell, can you tell, basically, can you tell which one is the before and which one is the after? And if I have to guess, I'm going to say this picture right here. Oops, was not trying to do that. Sorry. <laughs> this picture right here towards the left hand side is the before and the picture over here to the right is the after and you can see the big difference in her neck if you're not looking her neck area um she has less lines on the photo in the on the right hand side the photo on the left you can definitely see the lines and her and basically her wrinkles so the facial peel definitely gave her results all right so these are real results y'all okay so skincare isn't just about looking good it's about feeling good okay it, it affects your appearance so sometimes like if anything that's on your face let's believe it's going to affect your appearance because you're going to feel uh un insecure about yourself when you go out places i mean we we all do that moving forward so ready to tr transform your skin so are you ready to book your skincare consultation with me you can also, you are invited to join my Facebook group, Empower Enhanced Circle, for tips. If you need tips or if you just need my guide, I am here for you. So I do have a VIP group community. I always invite people to it. it, is a, it but that's also, if you have a Facebook account, then you are welcome to join that community. Also, you can visit my website or email me, and, and my email is right here. Please take a screenshot of this of this whole slide if need to if you need to so you can get my email um, information you can always email me i will respond um if you have questions or concerns all right or if you need my website all right thank you so much uh i, I apologize that i really rushed to this but i really wanted to do this for y'all if you have questions about anything do not hesitate to reach out to me at all, period. I will go ahead and provide my telephone number. Um, I don't have it on a slide, but I will just say it out loud. Okay, so it is area code 918-900-5530. All right. And so definitely reach out to me, text me on that number if you need to, um, uh, you know, if you just have questions, if you want to book a consultation appointment, if you have questions about skin, uh, skin care, I, I am here for you. OK, I promise you I'm here for you. All right. And then I just want to say thank you. Your skin is your 
best accessory. So take care of it. Transparency in beauty and beyond. Okay, so transparency in beauty and beyond. All right, that's that's my, that's my slogan. All right, that's my slogan. That's what I believe. Transparency in beauty and beyond. All right. So have a blessed evening or blessed morning, whatever it, whatever the the time time zone it is when you're watching this all right if it's morning you know have a blessed morning if it's evening have a blessed evening i love you guys bye